so uh, this is going to be Pisces, Sun, Moon, Iron as well, Rising, a weekly general tarot reading uh, January 26th to February 2nd, uh, 2020. And uh, in case, guys, you're interested in uh, personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And of course, hey, there you're going to find a link to my website. So that being said, uh, we are to jump straight away into the spread. And uh, as I said, spread, this is not going to be spread and it's general understanding. It's just going to be seven cards drawn one after another. No particular positions. So that being said, Pisces, let's see uh, what you got here, guys. So the first card here is representing a person that you are going to, obviously, you are going to have something to do with, obviously, throughout the week. So that is to be the Knight of Wands. What kind of a person Knight of Wands really is? So <clears throat> Knight of Wands, they're usually very enterprising youthful in spirit people i would have said young but they are mainly youthful in spirit in spirit they're not exactly they may not be that young in age now these people they usually are um whenever they find something interesting in that case they're gonna find you interesting they are more or less ready to not ready but determined i would say it that way determined to do what it takes in order to also grasp a mutual interest into that um into that endeavor and into that enterprise and uh, the knights of wands are kind of like they are rather more on the helping side side what i mean is that these people usually like to give a help to others now on the flip side however the knights of wands they burn Burn out very very quickly that being said if you want to keep up the cooperation with the Knights of Wands either business wise or either relationship wise that is you need to constantly maintain their interest meaning that you have to be a versatile with rather exciting you know presenting them with exciting events and in generally keep the environment fluctuating if i may express myself that way now the second card which we do have here is going to be the four of swords so that week for you guys is also going to be a week where it is highly unlikely that you are going to face a big issues and big troubles and even more when we do have the four of swords usually troubles that are or rather like plights i would say and predicaments that are worrying your mind up until this moment are likely to simply vanish. Now, vanishing of those plights and problems does not mean that they have been resolved and they are going to come back into your life moving further into the future after this week, most likely. But as they are not going to influence in any way your life throughout the week, then maybe you would want to use the week to find the right measures and the appropriate strategy how to resolve them once they come back to you. Now, with the Four of Swords, it's highly advisable that you can Kind of spend um, a fairly uh, large portion of time consulting yourself with either a professional help like business advisors, lawyers, or therapeutic therapeutic help as well, medical doctors, um, couples therapists, for example, sh sh shrinks psychotherapist, and so on and so forth. If you do have any kind of a problems that are requiring a uh, professional help, or the very least, if you are feeling a bit uneased by what it is to come from now on, you can consult yourself or spend time deliberating upon this, what it is to come uh, with a rather faithful companion, a very good friend of yours, for example, member of your family and etc. etc. So you together can find the accurate strategy how to handle what it is to come in the future that you are so much afraid of. Now, the next one, which is the third card here is going to be the page of swords. Now, we do have another person here. And this one is a little bit warmongery. Now, the thing with the Page of Swords, it is, uh, well, actually a couple of things. Now, they can very much... Uh, have the uh, have the ability I would say they have the ability to present fictions as facts therefore they may kind of like twist truths in one or another way to serve 
their favor and their agenda. As well, these people, they like to provoke and kind of force wrangles, disagreements, and as well, how can I say it, arguments, if you will, into either, into either one career or into either one relationship. Now, on the flip side, the Page of Swords may be the person who kind of like helps you with something and that helps kind of comes out of nowhere uh, because the Page of Swords may point that a, a very unexpected source of help comes around okay which is going to once again a provoke a certain um I would say disputes in that particular case. And the Page of Swords as well, it is a sign that one may start thinking of making a cleanup into their social circle. Maybe you have surrounded yourself with way too much noxious people and the Page of Swords, it is not just expressing one person, but it is expressing a, a rather portion of your social circle and you have to get rid of this uh, portion of your social circle. Now the next one, Pisces, which is the fourth card here is going to be the Eight of Swords. Out of uh, Eight of Swords, it's kind of like contributes a lot with the Page of Swords and it points and also with the Four of Swords and points that at least at the very start of your deliberations and conversations with people around you, especially with the therapeutic and pro professional help or the very faithful companion that you are going to deliberate with, there will be some disruptions and kind of like... Uh, missing of a point into one's, uh, into one's communication. That's why whenever we do have the Eight of Swords, people need to be extra elaborative. Now, when, uh, <clears throat> when it comes to making your points across with the Eight of Swords, if, he, if a, uh, let's say, a child in the third grade cannot understand what you are saying, just don't bother trying to uh, make your points across so you can elaborate, uh, elaborate yourself up until that level. So a, once again, child from a third grade can actually understand where you're coming from. Additionally to that, uh, the Eight of Swords also points that this is a fantastic week for you, Pisces, to uh, kind of like liberate yourself from some self-imposed limitations that you have placed in front of yourself or to yourself like you know involving yourself with a more challenging event more challenging people as well and kind of doing things that up until this moment you haven't dared to do and lastly with the eight of swords it's all about the truth guys because with the eight of swords I will never stop repeating that. If the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you. And this is where we do have that relationship with the Four of Swords earlier, that maybe this is what you are going to discuss. You are in a denial of a certain um, aspects of your life or certain, um, ar no arguments, but um, events that are happening it, or arguments, we could say it. And this therapeutic help or a, a, a conversations in between faithful companions will allow you to accept that truth and just move on which from its own accord is going to liberate you from a self-imposed limitations now at the fifth card that we do have it is another sword card so it's definitely we're talking about here mental and spiritual strength that needs to break through a certain wall that you are facing at that point and with the seven of swords it's um, kind of like the card urges you to turn into your own personal wishes and your own personal agenda where at a point you have to understand Stand if you don't demand what you have been owed, either into career or either into relationship, nobody is going to give it to you. Therefore, the Seven of Swords points that throughout the week as well, it is highly likely that while you do have that diminishing of an, an exterior problems and worries that you have to think of, now the time has come once again that you need to storm your situations and at the end of the day, uh, get what you have been working for up until this moment, the rewards of your labor. Uh, it is with uh, the Seven of Swords. So that card here points that throughout the week, through those deliberations, you are going to have the courage, if you will, to stand for your uh, personal rights. 
kind of like boosting a self-righteousness. Now, the sixth card that we do have for you, Pisces, is going to be the Tree of Wands. And Tree of Wands, it is kind of like as a, a, as a follow-up. Uh, you can take it that this is going to happen uh, somewhere uh, by the end of the week. And that card points to uh, at that time, you're going to find yourself rather sitting on a well-established patterns here. Um, good achievements, milestones, if you will. And now it's time to, to start thinking of how you're going to proceed with those rewards moving on forward. Therefore, the uh, Tree of Wands is a card of growth. Well, there are many cards of growth in Tarot and the whole difference in between them is how that growth comes around. With some cards, the growth comes around on its own accord. With another card, someone else do it for you. With this one, you have to challenge yourself. So um, when all it is settled down, uh, it is settled down, or rather like you have already stormed your situations, you found the right strategy out to move on forward through the plights and predicaments that you may be facing. Now it's time to kind of lift the bar of your goals and of your aims with the Tree of Wands, or in other words, how we can say it, try to find a new source to conquer, um, jump into new um, enterprises that are a bit more challenging for yourself either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. However, the Tree of Wands, it is one of these cards that points that by the end of the week, as it comes by the end, you know, of uh, this string, uh, points that rather the expectations of the uh, circumstances that are forming at that time are going to completely match your expectations. So you can expect as well that it is highly unlikely throughout the week to kind of like have yourself disappointed of something or of someone as well. And the last card that we do have for you, just one second, guys, to regain control over my camera once again. Uh, all right. So the last one that we do have here, that is to be the strength card. Just one second to see. Yeah, that's the last one. So we do have the strength card. And uh, the strength card in this particular case, it is only a confirmation for you, Pisces, that you're going to be very happy where you're finding yourself at the end of the day. But you are going to be happy. Not everybody around you is going to be happy, which kind of makes me think that that's about a, a making a spring cleaning into your social circle and into the people that you're associating yourself with it's kind of like has a big chance to kind of uh, take place through that week it is because the strength card points that not everybody is going to be happy with your standpoint what you went where you want to go uh, what you want to accomplish and so on and so forth but the strength points that you are going to be aware enough or in peace with oneself enough so that kind of a, a foreign opinion does not influence your personal opinion in any way career-wise or relationship-wise or in other words how we can say it, that is a, a perseverance true patience and um awareness of self-righteousness. Additionally to that, the strength card, it is more like a, a knowing what it is good for you and what needs to be done, not needing to kind of convince everybody that that is the right thing to do. That is because you are well convinced of your own uh, righteous moves moving on forward, okay? And uh, finally, with the strength card, it kind of um, points a, a good balance into the enthusiasm and um, practical and rational thinking that you are going to have as well. So it is highly unlikely from now on, whatever challenges you are placing yourself with the tree of wands to be something that uh, to be something like a trap, you know, so big challenge that you can never overwhelm it or a, a such a little challenge that is simply it's it's simply not going to prove itself you're worthwhile. Now, that's not going to be the case here with the, with the strength card. Now, one thing is important with the strength card, it is that you have to be very careful because whatever you create, whatever you force to happen while under the... Um, energy of the strength card is going to be indestructible. You make love or kind of like you make someone fall in love with you, well, that love is going to be indestructible. You make enemy, 
that enemy is going to be indestructible. So you have to be very careful by the end of this week, Pisces, what kind of a circumstances you have created for yourself, because they are going to hunt you for a quite, quite a, a long time. And uh, but yeah, I mean, at, at that point, I do believe that this week for you, Pisces, is going to be a week where you finally kind of figure out, you know, uh, where you have to go forward to or kind of like what what is the best move at that particular stage of your life or of your situation. It will be a bit challenging, but that's a great thing, or at least you're going to take it for a great thing because that challenge you have to overcome here is just only going to boost your um, enthusiasm and as well the rewards from it are going to be reciprocal, meaning that the bigger, the bigger the challenge is, the bigger the rewards are going to be. So that being said, Pisces, this was your, uh, oh, and uh, fi I forgot this person which came at the start, it is most likely the one who points you in the direction of the challenge, okay? And so, yeah, that was uh, the weekly tarot reading for you guys, a general tarot reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you do want a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below for the link of my website. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.